Hey guys, good morning. Hi Robert, you just woke up. I've been up for hours and I am ready to go back to sleep. Blue Sky, hello. Grandma Ash, hello to you. Hi Doxy Mom. Kaya, hello. Good to see you all. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> no wonder Talon has breathing difficulties. He has a plunger. I know, I think Grandma Ash, that was you who pointed it out, I think. Yeah, it was. The, for some reason, your comment isn't showing this morning, but I saw that earlier when I got up. So funny. I had a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, me too. What about you? I slept pretty well. By the way, for anybody wondering, uh, Fang and I decided yesterday during the stream to have a family. I think our due date is going to be that if it is two in-game uh, in weeks from when you uh, decide to have the baby. We should be due on the 23rd, so we still got a few streams left to go before that's going to happen. Uh, no birthdays today. Not that I ever do anything for anybody on their birthdays. Uh, I need to give Fang a little more time still. Uh, we need to go see Alo at the Game Center at 10 a.m. with Katori, I'm guessing. There is no... Yeah, baby bump. Where? 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 <laughs> I do hope Fang does not have a long lost brother called Claw. I know we got Fang, we got Talon. I was telling my mom about that. I don't know what our baby's name will be. Maybe Beak? <laughs> yeah, you did it last late last night. It doesn't, they don't always carry over to the next, to the next day. I don't know why. Although I was, I don't know. I saw it though. It was the first thing I saw this morning. It made me laugh, Grandma Ash. I don't think my bot's awake yet. <laughs> I actually had a whole nother name in, in mind for our baby. I'm just saving it. Oh, thanks, Kai. Well, it looks good thanks to you and the furniture that, that you gifted me. We're working on it. We're slowly working on things. Hi, little gecko. I keep sending them out for water, but maybe we'll do something different today. You go do a collection. You go dig. Live your best little doggy life. How's everyone doing? Hey, Nini, hello. Can't stay, just popping in to say hi and hit that like. Thank you so much, Nini. I hope you have a great day today. And Duchess is up. <laughs> Why? You just came inside. Ugh, these dogs. They're testing me. Okay, let's get all of our crap and put it away. Oh, Ma wrote back. Uh, I must have done something real good in my past life. I have a real hero as a child. Your pa and I always knew you'd do great things, but even still, we just want you to be happy. You've developed the town. She doesn't even know we're expecting yet. You've developed the town, drove off Duvos. It's amazing. You've been through a lot, and I know it wasn't easy, but I just want you to know we love you and are proud of you. I know you're celebrating, so go and enjoy yourself. Love you lots, Ma. Thanks, Ma. Hey, Christine. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Oh, my gosh. Princey, now what are you doing? Hold on a sec. Papa, no. Oh, boy. Just go sleepies. Okay. He was licking his junk. <laughs> I can't stream with a dog behind me uh, licking their business. <laughs> it's very, very distracting. Okay. So let's get this stuff going. Let's get things put away. I need to do some commissions to make some money because we need for the next expansion 262,500 goals. I mean, if I really concentrated, that wouldn't be too very difficult or take too long. Hey, I never noticed the stable has like a little a little window up top there. That's cute. Boozy, hello, how are you? Wish I could lurk like I usually do, but I have too many work calls. Boo! Boo to that. You're good today, Robert? Oh, it's your sister's birthday. Well, have happy birthday to your sister. That's great. I feel like there are a lot of March birthdays. My mom's is next week, and I realized her card has just been sitting here on my desk. I forgot to mail it. So I told her it's it's going to be late. Turns out it's going to be late anyway because my sister and brother-in-law are going on a cruise and they're just holding off. Um, oh, why did I put scrap in there? 
uh, mail delivery until until their return. Words. Veggie stir fry. I know my uh, food box is full, so I'm just sticking extra food in there. I need to upgrade that, but it's going to be about six levels till I can wear it. Hi, baby girl. Can you lie down, please, and not pace between the rooms? Oh, she can. Good girl. Okay. Hey, Boozy, how are you liking Wildflowers? I just saw you have a sec- I think your second episode up, and I have not watched your series yet, but I was wondering how you're enjoying it. You don't know why you added a knee. You're so tired today. I mean, I think we're all a bit tired today. I slept really well, but I, again, I got up too early and started to doze off on the sofa again today. I don't think we've donated the satellite model. What time is it? Oh, good. Time to head to the game center. So I just, I don't know why. I am sleeping great. I slept straight through till 4 a.m., which sounds stupid early, but considering I usually wake up around two or three, that was nice. You have four more episodes of it last night. Now I see why most people have videos longer than half an hour. Yeah. I try to hit like that 45 minute mark when I'm recording, but it's hard. Not. We'll, we'll, we'll hang out with Merle. This was just faster. And this is the game center I told you about. It was just four walls and a roof over a couple of dingy machines when I took over, and no one bothered to visit. But I believed in its potential, and with the support of wonderful people like Builder, we turned it around. Again, they still don't know my name. So, after a few rounds of upgrades, oh, thanks, Mom, it's lots working. of loan meetings, and some extra touches, ta-da! It's a local favorite again, and all the kids love it here. Don't tell your teacher, though. We don't want any complaints. <laughs> you came! <laughs> wow, the things are working, Doxy Mom. Thank you. You couldn't get sleepy last night, so you watched, oh, Wonka and Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory. You stayed up till like 2 a.m. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to spend your night, though, if you can't sleep. I tried to put, I put on Ryan Minora's stream this morning to try and doze off, too. That was a mistake because she had Benny on her Dinkum stream this morning, and the two of them were making me giggle and laugh so very much. I had to get up and go get on the computer so I could type. <laughs> I know, Boozy's good luck. So now the grandma one worked. I'm also going to link you guys, even though they're not in chat, we're going to try linking Rhyma Nora. Um, and I'm going to do Spec as well. They are both hosting a Dinkum stream tomorrow morning. I'm going to be a part of it along with Dinkum Dev, Benny, Reeps, Katie Gentleman, Sarah and Dippity. Um, 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 wait, who did I just forget? I didn't go in the right order. <laughs> it's like my brain has to work in an order. But you see, it's really early. It's 3 a.m. our time. So you'll probably have to just watch it on demand. Ryan Minora and Spec are both streaming. Januki, Thank you, Januki Chuki. Rai is a hoot to watch. So with the time change, I've been able to catch part of her streams lately, and I love it. I will try to record it on my end. Um, I know a little bit of what we'll be doing. I'm not telling you guys nothing, but I will try to record it. I'm going to get up about 1.45 a.m., so we'll see how my brain's working. Yeah, all the things are working. You know what? I logged in and out of Stream Elements again today just to try and give it a fresh start. That seems to most of the time help. OBS also has an update. Maybe I need to apply that update, see if that helps. I'm always hesitant to do an update with OBS. Okay. You can tell us we won't tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm not telling. All I'll tell you is I need to show up with empty pockets. I believe no currency and naked. <laughs> well, okay, my undies. I think they're going to make us wear team colors. That's all I'm telling you. And it's probably more than I should have told you. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, though. My only concern is that I will like my alarm won't go off and I'm going to sleep through it. 
and I'm gonna not wake up till like the event's halfway over or something. It's a naked and afraid situation, maybe not quite, but yeah. And um, I feel like that episode of Seinfeld when when they had that one guy from out of out of the country coming in for like the New York Marathon and they needed a wake up call. I need somebody to give me a wake up call tomorrow. <laughs> Dang work, I quit, I want to watch it. I know, you guys, I think it's going to be just a lot of laughs for sure. A lot of laughs. Okay, so yes, I came. Hello, Katori. Let's get back into the Sandrock thing. <laughs> the last OBS update, it changed your inter internet source. Oh, no. Like, I haven't even tried using the YouTube studio through Yo OBS. One of my profiles, I have different scene profiles set up. One for Twitch, one for like YouTube, one for the multi-streaming. And that one, it changed it to the YouTube. I couldn't do my sketch, start my stream the way I usually did. And I just sat there like right as the stream was starting going, I don't know what the frick I'm supposed to do. So I need to figure out how the YouTube studio works with OBS. Phew, that's a lot of words. Right, Grandma Ash? All right, let's get back into this. <clears throat> All right, let's head in. Get ready for a day of mad fun. You know, you have me thinking now about about uh, Fang. He does have a half brother. I can't remember the brother's name, though, or if we learned it, but it would be funny if it was Claw or something. OK, let's see. Which game machine should we try first? How about Space Pilferers? You pick a partner first and excuse me, are you Katori? The Katori of Katori World. Oh, cute. Oh, hey there. Uh, yes, that's me. Do you need help with anything? We just came from Katori World. My little girl loved it. Tried every single ride. Twice. She kept asking me who Katori is and said that she must be a genius and a millionaire. <laughs> now she wants to open her own park someday. Cute. Also, love the little skirt here with like, it has like little, little doggos, I think, or kitties. I can't tell if that's like a banjo. No, wait, what's the dog's name? He is my pet. I should know his name. Nemo. Little corgi heads. <laughs> Sweetie, say hello to Miss Katori. Wow. Are you really her? Can I take a photo with you? Wow, you sound like Jasmine. Yeah, Nemo, I finally got it. I always think Banjo at first, and it's like, no, that's the kitty. Um, of course. I'm honored. Aloe Builder, could you two wait here for a moment? It won't take long. Okay. Oh, Aloe, he just wants to be with his mom. He doesn't want this stuff. Keep that pose. One more. Hmm, looking good. Smile wide. I, I love the big bow in her hair, too. Thank you very much. These will do. Thank you. Bye, Katori. Nice to meet you. Phew. That took longer than expected. Now, where was I? Spending time with your son. Ah, space <sighs> pilferers. That's the golden goose of the golden goose. It's a crowd favorite because... Oh, I won't spoil it for you. Let's go in and you'll see. Hey, excuse me. Oh, no. Can you help me catch your conversation? It's my first time in Sand Rock. Any recs for which game to try first? Or should I skip to the Golden Goose and head straight to the Katori world? Well, you should fit both into your schedule, mister. I wouldn't miss Space Pilferers in the Golden Goose. It's a classic. And have you given Whack-A-Mole a try? Simple rules, but super fun. Uh, I feel like I should talk to Katori and tell her, hey, hang out with your kid, but I'm going to talk to Alu. That's okay. I was busy I don't, back I wasn't the sure what. Too. Yeah, she is famous these days. I wasn't sure what my dialogue with her would be, and I didn't want Alu to be even more annoyed that somebody else was talking <laughs> to his mom. Not that I like it. Oh, poor guy. Ma said in the letter that she has time for me now, so I could finally move here. Oh, honey... I'm really oh, good. sorry. She heard. It's not that I put work over you. It's just sometimes I get carried away. But that's not a good habit. Hi, you Tony. Keep an eye on me and let me know when I mix work and play again, okay? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, Tony. Us grown ups are slow at learning new tricks, but I promise I'll do my best. It's okay, Ma. I don't mind you're busy. 
I know work is important to you, but you're always tired. <laughs> this sounds like a conversation in my house this past weekend with me and Tom. <laughs> I wish you had more time for yourself, not just for me or work. I want you to relax and have fun. I don't want you to get tired because of me. Come here, honey. Ma. Listen, honey. <laughs> you never make me tired, you know that? I'm so happy to spend the day with you. But I get what you're saying. I promise I'll have a good time today. How does that sound? So, do you know which game you want to play first? Or should we grab a snack? We can even have a full meal if you want. Um, I'm not sure. The food here... You don't like it? I do, but sometimes my tummy doesn't like the food here. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's not even the food. Honey, I wish you had told me sooner. Aww. It wasn't too bad. I tried to remember what I ate to figure it out, but there are so many dishes to try, and I have to eat each one at least twice to be sure. It's probably just your body getting used to the new place. I'm sure Dr. Fang can help. Next time, let me know if you're not feeling well, okay? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, promise. Good. Is there anything else on your mind? How about school? The school is... Um, okay. Everyone is nice, but they're already friends, and I'm the new kid. Jasmine is really smart, but she uses big words I don't understand. Andy, he made this funny cushion that sounded like a fart. Everyone thought it was me! And Pebbles. <laughs> Pebbles likes to draw my name on the wall. Aww. <laughs> I, I mean, a whoopee cushion is a little bit funny, but not if you're the new kid. Hey, you're doing better than you think. You've got their names and quirks down. <laughs> That's the first and most important step in making friends. It's probably Grace's cooking. It upsets everyone's stomach, maybe. Really? Yup. You just have to put yourself out there and let them get to know you better. What is it that gives you the teats boozy? A whoopee cushion. Whoopee. <laughs> Okay. I'll oh wait, do that. that's just a me and Tom thing from Big Bang Theory. That doesn't make sense to anybody else. That's good to hear. <sighs> Let's visit the clinic first and then take some rest at home, okay? We can't keep touring today, but I promise <laughs> we'll go out again soon. Yeah, in real life, it's a long list, Boozy. I'm an old lady. <laughs> oh god. Uh, but in game, uh, some of Fang's uh, tonics at the clinic that you would try. <laughs> okay, we can relax at home together today. That's nice too. Oh, is Terry the culprit for you? <laughs> it does to you, Tony. <laughs> I'd love that. <clears throat> Thank you for being here with us today. I'm sorry our plans had to change. Uh, cool. See you around later. Uh, you don't even uh, ever have to apologize. Thank you. You've always been so kind. Actually. There's one more thing I could use a hand with. Of course. I've been thinking maybe some small gifts can help Aloe get along. It would be wonderful if Aloe could make them himself, but he's never built anything before. Do you think you could teach Aloe some building skills? Maybe help him make a few gifts to get him started. Sure. Oh, uh, baked beans. <laughs> Now you're getting all the deets. I ain't gonna share all those deets. <laughs> what do you think about making models? It's Aloe's favorite, and I know you're amazing at making them. I'd love to learn to make a train model. Andy loved my PE-777, and I want to make one for him. Cool, no problem. That's great. Who knows? Maybe Aloe will fall in love with what you do and become a builder one day. They are the magical fruit. <laughs> the more you eat, the more you toot. Okay. How about you go get so him we'll go... once you have everything you need for the model? You can show him how you make it in your workshop. Oh, fun. No rush. Take your time. I know you have other things to do, too. Nope, I got nothing. Let's... Where did, where did he just go? Oh, there he is. Is that everything we need yep. to make a train model? Thank you so much for getting them ready. Can we go to your workshop now? I'm all set. Heck yeah, I, I, I hope your tummy's okay, but let's go. Here we are. 
thanks for having me. Well, that that's disappointing. Whoa, an assembly okay. station. That's so cool. Is that where you built the PE777? Can you teach me how to do that? I want him actually in my workshop doing it. Aha, uh -huh. so that's why we need this piece. I, I guess I get why they can't do that, but it would be cool. Where do I place this part? Am I doing this right, Master Builder? Or should I call you Builder Master? Don't call me either. It's coming together. It's done, just like magic. You're the coolest person ever. Well, maybe not as cool as my mom, but you're a close second. Thank you for being my friend and for being Ma's friend too. Having friends is super important. I see that now. I'm still getting used to this new place, even though I have Ma by my side. Yeah, it's dark in there. Here, she was all alone. I'm so happy she met you and other kind folks here. And here's a gift to say thank you. It's a cool specimen I made at school. Miss Jane said it was the best in the class. Maybe next time I can show you how to make an awesome specimen too. I hope you like it. Bye. Lovely. What did... Okay. I have no idea if he actually gave us something. <laughs> oh. Aloe's ore. An ore given to you by Aloe that can be displayed in your house. Well, we do have to display it then. Oh, that's no fun, Grandma Ash, but I'm glad it doesn't stop you. Oh, yeah, the spray cheese. Glad Tade's your friend, Boozy. I don't think I can actually place this down. I want to place it down. Will it go in anything that we have? Oh, it will go on here. Well, go on the... I still haven't found... Can I just retrieve... Do I have to retrieve one? I can't just... Okay, put the books back. I still haven't found what will fit here. I did make some dishes. Oh, this will go here. Okay, finally. We finally have something that'll go on that counter. You'd be willing to be sick to eat cheese, but not necessarily for cheese. We <laughs> can't no. You know, I, I have to confess, I did not enjoy the spray cheese this much as um, like I usually do. I still enjoyed it, but not as much. The, the flavors seem different. All right, let's go grab some commissions. We need to make some money. Is the canned cheese even a cheese-based product? I don't know. I'd have to look at the ingredients. The fact that it doesn't need to be refrigerated and it comes out in an aerosol form... <laughs> it's a little, a little concerning. Yeah, nailed it. Yeah, I'm not even sure you can consider it food. I'll still eat it. See, I was afraid to get the bacon flavored one. <clears throat> I don't even always like bacon bits because sometimes the flavor is a little weird. So I was afraid it would taste like the bacon bits bacon and not real bacon. Ooh, we got a lot of that. Need now. Okay. Anything that pays big over here? Not really. Uh... Um, 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 yeah, I'd have to make those. Let's do some metal hinges. They do need to be rare, though. But let's let's try and get them done. <laughs> yeah, I know you're just poking fun. I poke fun at a lot of things, too. Like, Tom and Spam. He loves Spam. I cannot stand it. It's disgusting. But, you know, I'm not going to stop him from eating it. But I do poke fun. Although, I'm glad he hasn't made it in a while. Because the last time he did... I think it was still like 2020 was when we had our power shut off for like four days as like a, a caution for five. I forget what they call it out here with pg and &E. It's like a PSPP where it's a personal safety program they do during fire season where they shut off power to like a whole neighborhood or community if there's high winds and high fire danger. So we were without power for like four days. We had to keep the windows closed. Couldn't run the air conditioner. It was really kind of hot. The air outside was full of smoke and ash. 
And what does Tom do? Cooks up a whole big frying pan full of spam and just made the house smell so bad. I thought I was going to be sick. It was so gross. Thank you. But yeah, it's so expensive to buy. <laughs> Wow, it used to be a very cheap food. I don't know why it's not like it tastes that good. <laughs> I liked it as a kid. I can't stand it now. And after smelling it in a locked up, closed up house with ash and soot and smoke, it's like, bleh. Did you want to talk about anything, Owen? Looks like you do. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many bookings we've got since Gintori World opened. I couldn't give a room at the Blue Moon to my own parents for the next month. Easy. Wow, that's good for his business. Uh. Shelly must be doing well then if her husband's raking it in. Yeah, you're too busy to share. That's fine. Your, your pantry currently has spray cheese and spam. Ooh, I see a gourmet dinner in your future, boozy. Like, there's that commercial for spam where they dice it up and fry it and put it like in a bowl of rice with other goodies and stuff. I'm like, that looks really good, but I also know what it's going to smell and taste like, so no thank you. I'll just use ham. I know, if Ellen was here, Spam reminds me of the food you find and eat in a post-apocalyptic world. Spam will survive that and spray cheese. Yep. Hey, Process... Processo Black Thumb? Black Thumb? I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'll call you Process. Hello. Welcome in. Good morning. Don't knock it till you try it. That's what the commercial says. I have tried it, so that's why I can knock it. <laughs> Thank you. So he can have his spam and I can have my spray cheese mm. and we can coexist happily. If you think about it, a roller coaster is just a train in the sky. The pathing incredibly inefficient. But I suppose that's what some people consider fun. I love roller coasters so Catch much. You later. Boozy Jr.'s canned sardines. Ugh. Blah. I'm trying to remember. Tom, I think, likes those as well. And he likes oysters. I have never even tried an oyster. I looked at it and I was like, no thank you. That is not going into my mouth at all. Uh, what's going on with the blending? Did I have just... I probably queued up more than I could do. You have corned beef. It's also from a tin. Our corned beef is not from a tin. There is tinned corned beef, but that's not the kind we get. You love corned beef hash? I haven't had corned beef hash since I was little. I haven't had that since I was really little. I don't know if I've ever had it from a can. I've seen it. I feel like it used to be in my house as I was a kid growing up, but I don't remember anybody ever eating it. We're going to do a corned beef Saturday, a day early. Um, I'm going to just do it in the slow cooker, and then we're just going to have sandwiches with it for dinner later. Oh, the buckyball. That's what Tom has displayed in his yard. I still don't have piece one. And I don't have the Goose Pagoda yet. I still need that piece. I really should go to the ruins every day and just try and buy the pieces we don't have. Oh, I'm getting hiccups. This is great. <laughs> I'm going to go see... Oh, wait. Hello, we grabbed a commission. We need to at least do the commission. Uh, let's add that to Q. We need six, and they have to be, like... Did it go? Did I hit the right thing? Gosh, I am a hot mess. Okay. We can turn in that one and then go by the museum. Hey, Dad plays bad. How's it going? Good to see you. Corned beef hash is a di Yeah, it has potatoes. Corned beef, if it's just a meat product and it's sold in a tin like spam. Uh, yeah, and I have, I think my mom made it. No, my mom doesn't like corned beef. So no, oh no, I'm thinking of a different type of hash. I think it's called Joe's Special around here. It's like potatoes, maybe some spinach. I want to say beef. 
either ground beef or like pot roast, but it's a hash. She used to make that when we were little, but not corned beef hash. I know this chat will always make people hungry. Uh, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if we should go check on our father-in-law at the clinic. You may have noticed that Katori's roller coaster is fast, very fast. This is because the aerodynamic designs were based off that of spacecraft I analyzed in the Starship Ruins. I highly recommend writing it. I have, as it's the only currently known way to experience a brief moment of zero gravity. What are you desiring? Oh, I have tea leaves. All right. See you later. I'll get him some tea leaves. Let me go do that before I forget, and then we'll do the museum. Sometimes I take too long, and then they no longer desire the item. Hey, Withered Rainbow Dash! Flying toward Moxie with a hug, thank you. You married Heidi? Oh, nice! How, how do you like being married to Heidi? I was... I really am thinking, you guys, now that I see how much we learn about each person's background, or I don't know if maybe every character in the game is like this, I kind of want to go back to my other save file, finish the main story, you guys have all seen that, and then, like, woo and marry everybody. We'll get married, learn as much as we can about them, then divorce them. I don't know if that's a crazy thing to do or not. Wait, is it under food under food and health? Oh no, cooking ingredients, maybe. I, I kind of want to learn about all of the characters in the game. Where are my tea leaves? Oh, that's right, today is pie day. Oh, I should have ordered us a pie at the store, I forgot. You're having pie for lunch for pie day? Nice. Will you calculate pie while eating pie? Nope. <laughs> there you go. Calculation done. You like being married to Heidi? Love it. Hey, Rebecca. Hello. Hope you're having a good day. It's popcorn lover's day? I'm a popcorn lover. I have microwavable popcorn. I have my oh, own popcorn popper. I could even pop it on the stove if I wanted to. I love popcorn. Back in the... What, what, what decade was it when Dallas was on TV? Back in the 80s, I think it was. My dad uh, would come home late on Wednesdays because that was his, like, golfing day. So after dinner... I would get in my jammies, climb into bed with my mom. She'd make up a big old bowl of popcorn, and we'd eat that while watching Dallas. <laughs> International Day of Mathematics? Yeah, I don't celebrate that one. You're only just married. Let's see. I don't know what size the satellite is. It's this size. Okay. Oh, let's... Did I... Okay, I did put that in storage. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, you have that as a special quest to enjoy process, but with being married to Heidi? You just told the hubs to grab a pie for the family? Nice. Man, I kind of want to call Tom and say, can you run into the store? Oh, I have to do, to do six more for that. <clears throat> well, uh, I'll eventually work on it. I can craft so many things at my workshop for donating or buy stuff around town for donating. I'll worry about that later on. Let's see if there's anything. I just, if I can interact with Fang's dad.
I have very much enjoyed this whole story with Fang. Iron Talon is a powerful man. Nothing can take him down. All right. Or to speak, <clears throat> my chest. Well, at least he doesn't have a plunger device on his face anymore. <laughs> my swan, I need I to do some fresh herbs recently. I want. Thank you. I need to do. Um, I think we're giving him bean paste. Some like digging of my own. I guess maybe by the. I, it, I feel like I used to get shiny scorpions a lot, like at the Eufala salvage yard and stuff. I have not been getting any shiny scorpions at all. And so I don't have Thank anything you. to give to the X. For your gift. I know I have other stuff. I gave him a diamond not that long ago. We'll just do a quick hug. You were sure it was, uh. Oh. Seems you can also eat pizza or other pies today. Oh, ooh, we are having takeout tonight. Uh, pizza would be tricky, though, because it's also grocery night. It's Adopt a Spider Day today? Did you know it's also Save a Spider Day? They can save themselves. <laughs> it is a day for everything, even horribly evil things. Cornish pastry are your absolute favorite. I don't think I I mean we I haven't had like a meat pie like you have meat pies. We we have like pot pies. They're a little little different, but also I think a little similar. But you can't like hand like I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna say there. There's a National Today website. I have looked that up before. It's been a while. <laughs> I'll tell all my friends to check out Sandra. Cool. National Learn About Butterflies Day. Oh, my niece would not care for that day. She does not care for butterflies. National Write Your Story Day. It's not really Spider Day. It's a lot, a lot of things going on, I guess. Man, every time I turn around, I have more stuff in here. You know what? I am going to go hit this salvage up here. Let's see if we get a shiny scorpion. I don't know why I'm not getting those anymore. Eh, don't want seeds. And I could just go down into the ruins and buy whatever relics are for sale. Uh, shiny scorpion. I always, I almost always get one from up here. I can't think of anywhere else in game where I consistently get them. You're hungry now, Dad plays bad. I am not. I had a very fat ass breakfast today. <laughs> I made chili for dinner the other night. So I've been using it to make chili cheese nachos. And apparently that's what my body wanted for breakfast today. So I made a big old plate of chili cheese nachos and watched The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Quite a busy life I lead. What do moths actually do? Anything good? I, I, I don't know. Keep the cashmere population at bay? Yeah, don't research that any further, Boozy. <laughs> World Sleep Day. I thought that was yesterday. You can nap all day. Because the reason I said that was because I love this a modern day classical composer named Max Richter. You guys have probably heard some of his music in soundtracks of movies and TV shows and stuff. But he has this album called Sleep. And it is an eight hour long album. And I have it. And I listen to it when Tom's out of town. It's just like a lullaby it's lovely. That was a perfect morning, Grandma Ash. World Sleep Day should be every day. I'm just going to go in here and dig just for the XP of it and also to buy some relics. Why did I think it was yesterday? 
But yeah, it is, it, it, yeah, it is a thing. I know I've done that. I've, I know I've made that. I didn't need to buy those, but apparently I needed to buy those. I really should be doing this down at the Starship Ruins. I'm just like, if I'm coming in here to buy relic pieces, I might as well just do some digging. Plus, I bet you I'm low on, like, clay. Think we get some clay in here? Yeah. So it doesn't hurt to come in here and do stuff like this. Not chosen real housewives. I mean, I, I can't think of a better way to start the day. I was disappointed in our cheese, though. I usually buy pre-shredded cheese. I get the Lucerne brand. It's just at our grocery store. And lately, it's not very melty. I don't know if they're using more cornstarch to keep them from sticking or what. I used it on a casserole last week, too, and it, it didn't ever really melt. It just still stays shredded form, so they weren't as good as they could have been. So I'm going to have to just go back to shredding my own cheese. <laughs> These real-life problems of mine, right? <laughs> cheese that doesn't melt. And then I'll probably have breakfast food for lunch. I'll probably just have some Cheerios. <laughs> It's not the fat-free kind, no. It's just the regular sharp cheddar cheese. And Tom noticed it too, it's, it's, it's weird. If I use it in a quesadilla, it melts fine, but for nachos or a casserole topping, it's not melting. So I don't know if they've changed their process to save money in some way. I should write the company and ask. I don't want to clear this whole room. Oh, hello. I love that these guys are still like whatever level you are, that's what they are, even though these are low-level ruins. I like that. Quite a few products in the UK have, yeah, skimflation. The manufacturer changes the ingredients to make the product more profitable. That's what I'm thinking that, that Lucerne has done with their cheese. It used to shred, uh, it used to melt great. Now it doesn't. Yeah, reduce 12% meat to 8%. Yep, there's shrinkflation and skimflation and all that kind of stuff going on. And there's so, I don't want to get on a whole political thing, but yeah, it's a whole thing. How's it going, Batsy? Peekaboo. Good to see you. I will be on Twitch again soon, Batsy, so you can make your big entrance with the oh god no. <laughs> Some supermarkets also label when shrinkflation, where the price stays the same. I like that they uh, label it. I think people are getting a little more aware of it. Girl Scout cookies have fewer in the box. Yeah, I noticed that a while. Yeah, I don't. I th I think I noticed that like a year or so ago. Although, that's probably a good thing in my case, because I have no chill when it comes to Girl Scout cookies, and if you open it, I'm going to eat the whole thing. Hope you're feeling better today, Batsy. Let's just go home and go to bed. We're out of stamina. We got some relics. We got a shiny scorpion we can give to X. Yeah, shrinkflation, too, in the U.S. reduced sizes of products for the same price. Yep. More cookies for all you lovely peeps. Yum. I was good though. Tom and I got into the Thin Mints the other night and I only ate half a tube <laughs> instead of the whole tube. <laughs> Boy. You must be mentally sinking with others today. It's uncanny. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Let's go to sleep. Oh, man, I am starting to get hungry now, though, thinking of all this food. I just ate. It's only been like two hours. Wow, he got up, did the planting, and then came back to bed so I wouldn't wake up alone. That's so lovely. I had a good night's sleep. 
What about you? I slept great. You want a smoochies? <laughs> My mom was asking People about the about the game. Is the most it's the hive mind, the yeah. <laughs> breakfast is. That's why I had nachos. It's such an important meal. I wasn't gonna waste it on something like oatmeal. She was asking about the game, and, and I said, yeah, my character's gonna have a baby. She's like, now, do kids watch this? I said, it's not like you see the conception. You just say, hey, you want to have a kid, and you're like, then two weeks later, you magically have a kid. Thank you. <laughs> that was quite a conversation kids. to have with my 81-year-old mother today. I love that he calls me that too, Grandma Ash. <laughs> we all love spiders, and you will too. I don't love spiders. Don't make dad plays bad, love spiders. You got up early. That's great. If you're tired, make sure to take a break. See, I like him. He's about rest, taking breaks, taking care of yourself. Tom's married to Grace, and she just always says, should we start the day with a little exercise? He says she doesn't mean calisthenics, though. I feel like all I've done today is put stuff in storage. I haven't actually done anything productive. Oh yeah, we gotta turn in that one commission. Uh, I didn't get any scrap going. I was almost caught up with it too. Oh, that's just regular. Okay, let's put... I don't think I need to put this in the helper box, but I will. I don't think they'll add fertilizer. I've just been adding it here and there through the console machine. I've got to make the hinges perfect. Pet management chip we already had, so we can sell that one. I will give Scorpion to uh, 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 X when I see him. Got more parts. Yeah, I was just, after the stream yesterday, I just, I did a little tiny, tiny bit of resource gathering and then just got random things going on the machines. I think he'd rather burn down our house than live with it in, with any kind of spider. Oh, Grandma Ash, I gotta get going. Really glad I was able to drop by. Me too. It's always good to see you. Hide the matches. Nope, nope, no siree, Bob. Yet nine... <laughs> So that's a no for Dad Plays Bad. You take care, Grandma Ash. We will see you later. I am pretty sure I've donated one of those. Hi, Gecko. Uh, go explore. How's your food over here, guys? I think you're almost done with the horrible tomatoes. Bye-bye, <laughs> you wonderful folk. How are you guys doing on the food? Yeah, I just don't trust Rosie with the food. It got messed up. I should get more chickens and stuff. Uh, you need some more sand berries for the little rooster guy. Oh, they both kind of like the desert mushrooms, too, so that's good to know. Oh, good. More stuff to put away. <laughs> okay, from Crystal. What'd she send us? Oh, some more jujube, ju jujube cake. Nice. Wait, where's my doggy? Maybe he's... Oh, there he is. Over by the flat bench thing. The, oh, no, the gray bench thing. <laughs> okay. Nemo. Let's have a cuddle. His little body is so adorable when we cuddle. I love it. He's just so cute. I'm trying to get a good angle. Go 
O explore as well. Um, I need to have, that's right, um, six rare. I don't know if I have all six crafted. Yes, so let's see if we can do them as rare. And then I need Okay. So we've got that ready. We need to get some more goodies. Yeah, we'll do more quartz. Okay. Let's go turn that in. Fang still needs some time. So the treatment started, we're just, oh, three days. So probably tomorrow? I think today's day two. I don't know. So it looks like we might just be doing some more uh, resource gathering and some more. Um, oh, showdown at high noon. Is that today? Oh, no, that's tomorrow. I, I don't care if we miss that event, so we'll just do some more commissions and some more resource gathering and all that good stuff. Showdown at High Noon was kind of fun. I guess our character does not participate, we just play place bets. Hello. Hi. Ah, thank you. You are welcome. Don't ever ask for rare again. Hey, Chen, have we talked to you since you've moved hmm. in? I think we did. Checking out all of the speeches, Mayor Trudy is really killing it out here. Oh, you can also fight? You place bets because you missed the registration? I don't know. Well, maybe I want to fight. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. What's the uh, market rate? Mm. Do I have anything on me to sell? I usually like to, s to sell when the market's up, but just to get rid of some junk. That might actually be the only piece of junk I get rid of. Here, you can have some milk. I've got so much milk. I should look at what I have a huge stack of and sell some of that. Oh, I do need to go get more wood. I should be able to make the boards, though. Steel spear, we should be able. I need the recipe. Okay. That should be easy to do. And we've got lots of tea leaves. Wait, which spear recipe was it? Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Game's forcing me to have some downtime to make some money and get resources, which is good. I don't know when we're going to start getting people uh, visiting from Portia. Hopefully very, very soon. Grace, Grace returned yesterday. Hey there. If you ever hear me say I'm tired of roller coasters, go ahead and take me out. I've been replaced by a Duvo doppelganger. Cute. So long, partner. Okay, yeah, I think we've donated that one, but we can always double check. Okay, so for the spear, I need five wool cloth from the tailoring machine. Let's make like 15. And then for that, I should have everything. And then those are on 
this one. Yeah, I saw your comment, Blue Sky. I forgot to comment on it. I had a ton of fun trying to find that stupid herb yesterday, whatever it was called, the uh, hyacinth orchid or whatever. They, they, they were, none of it was blooming. <laughs> Welcome back, Batsy. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I was just rereading what you typed with the fighting. Yeah. That was so annoying. It's like, why? I'm looking for flowers and there are no flowers. You sound like you've been smoking for 50 years and coughing like mad. I am so sorry. Sorry to hear that. Okay, those are going. That's going. Those are ready. Those are ready. Oh, yeah, let's get Merle. You're disappointed you don't sound like Batman. I watched the part I missed, the purple yellow. I know, they were missing from the plant. That was not helpful. I mean, and I kept confusing it for the cat's whiskers, even though that's like uh, shorter and bushier. Hey there. Thank you. So I'm like, okay, it's supposed to be here, not seeing it here. It's supposed to be here, not seeing it here. Oh, because it doesn't have the flowers. Yeah, I've gone to Katori World. It's a miracle of modern engineering, I tell ya. I think I'm gonna have to stay off the roller coaster though. Too many ups and downs. Ah, you go. So long, partner. Yeah, the pollen count's been high here as well. That's why I've been having some issues. Normally, you sound like Batman. With laryngitis. You did take a shower and jammed out to music, even though it was like 15 minute shower. I mean, that sounds nice. I had a really nice, hot, relaxing, like devil sauna hot kind of shower before the stream. I did not want to get out. It felt so good. No, we're not going to read Cooper's enemy list. We read through this before. We're not reading through this again. I'm sorry I hit it. Okay, let's go. Ugh. I'm tempted to help Katori get into the concocting of fair food, but it's also unhealthy. Yeah, it is. I hear in some places back in the old world, they even deep fried a candy bar. I have never had that, but it sounds good. I would totally eat a deep fried candy bar. If a shower doesn't burn, it's not worth taking. I know. I don't know why I've been really into ridiculously hot showers. It just feels so nice. Oh, uh, where do I want to go? Oh, I do want to go get petrified wood, so we will start out here. Yeah, I know, Betsy. You don't need it for that reason. I get accused of taking two hot showers, peel that top few layers of skin off clean. I know, I this is like a new thing for me. I've always liked a nice hot shower, but I've like really kicked it up. Mm, yeah, I think I mostly just want to get the wood. I'm not going to get all the other stuff out here. If I see some of that herb, I should have looked for it. Um, I'll grab it. Yeah, we all hope Batsy feels a little better. I know a few people have been under the weather this week. Let's hope everybody's feeling better very soon. You too, Latoni. I don't know why. I just like, it's almost like so hot. My skin almost itches, it's like so hot. <laughs> and I'm so bright pink when I come out. But it just feels so good. Maybe it's just because I'm older and things are aching, I don't know. Yeah, tree pollen and grass pollen is high here today. Yeah, we've had, it's definitely been tree pollens here, I think. Your mom gets bronchitis and you get laryngitis. <clears throat> 
You got stuff going around at work. Oh, the coughs are exhausting. Like, I will feel perfectly fine, but I'll get a cough from my allergies, and I'm just exhausted from it. Yeah, see, that was the cat's whiskers. <laughs> Poor little guy was just there sleeping. I think that's cat's whiskers, yeah. Come on, Merle. Let's go get more wood. Oh, I should probably get these little things, too. I should have asked Fang to come hang out with me while I did this. Next time I'll have to marry somebody who will also do some resource gathering with me, like in the ruins and stuff. That's too tall to be... Yeah, that's not it. I don't need that herb. I just... If I see some, I'm going to grab it. There's an opal behind me. <clears throat> Aw, sorry, Batsy. That sucks. Well, I haven't gone back out to check that one big cluster of opals. This might be just how we end up spending our pregnancy if nothing in the story picks up between now and then. My sister used to be on an, in a, an inhaler for like asthma and stuff when she was younger, but she seemed to have outgrown it or whatever as she got older. Oop, sorry. Let's get off of that. I've never noticed so many opals before. Did your Helldivers game start behaving? Oh, that's right. I forgot to ask about that. You had to update your GPU because it wouldn't open, but so far it seems good. Nice. Yeah, Ozzy and PJ look like they are having a lot of fun with that. I feel like I'm hearing PJ laugh and sound very happy a lot while she's playing it, and that makes me smile. I think this is it. Yeah, that's what the hyacinth orchid looks like when it doesn't bloom. We don't know what season it blooms. It was much trickier to find. Sorry, Merle. I don't know that I would enjoy playing Helldivers, but I have really enjoyed watching other people play it. That's been fun. When kicking trees, there's a small chance you'll knock out everything. I need to kick more trees. I have not been kicking the trees. Sorry, Merle. Really? I figured he would notice me. We'll have to go around town kicking trees. I don't think we can kick the little ones. Oh, you can. I don't know why I thought that. If you aren't in the mood, hell divers will eat you alive. It looks like a kind of game that would do that for sure. Okay. 
I should see what else I'm low on and just go stock up on that. Yeah, hard to play if you need a team and you don't have a voice, for sure. Come on, Merle. Such a good old companion Merle is. As much as I'd love to see Haru come back, I don't want Haru to come back because I don't want to give Merle back. I don't think we would have to, but it's like, no, Merle's mine now. No one can ever have her again. Your level with Ubisoft is at 69 noise. <laughs> Love it. Giggity. Sometimes I just enjoy watching games when I don't have the energy to play one myself. Exactly. Hey, Johnny. Welcome on in. How are you today? I actually have ice in my iced tea today, so I don't know if you're hearing the little clinks and clanks. Let's just put stuff away. Probably get that spear started by now. Let's give you some pats. Best little buddy. <laughs> I know, it's hilarious watching Ozzy play it and blow himself up. Yeah. I don't know how well I would do in a game with friendly fire, that's for sure. <laughs> I think PJ got him once or twice, right? It's been fun f to watch, for sure. Okay, we've got cloth. Oh, let's get that going. Uh, the steel spear. Again, I wish I could click on it and then... Oh, you can. Add to queue. That's right. I wish you could click on these things and then have it take you to that menu. Okay, I have the petrified wooden boards. Let's do a few more, though, so we have them. Oh, recycling. Oh, I. that's right. I still have huge recycling queues going, so we're just going to add to them. Hey, AJ, how's it going? Moxie, do you think your husband liked the farming game called Coral Island? I played through a day of it. Hi, Sharms. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Let me do a shout out for Sharms. They I, they seem to be working today, Sharms. <laughs> um, he might like Coral Island. He didn't buy it yet, but I played through one in-game day so he could see it. Uh, Check it out. He might. He's thinking about it. Coral, I agree, AJ. Coral Island is great. The doggos come outside now, y'all. I know I haven't streamed it in a while, but I played through just one in-game day the other day, and I was so happy to see Prince Rupier run outside. There's one problem in oh with with Fay Farm. What's the problem you're having with it? I kind of just gave up on Fay Farm. I don't know why. That's another one Tom might like. But Charms, how have you been? If you guys haven't, you guys have to check out Charms YouTube channel. Lots of fun content there, especially Dinkum. Oh, It'll make I you just laugh. Check the results. You're pregnant. Oh. We will have a child. Okay, so it's probably two weeks from today, maybe not when we decided to have a baby. Woohoo! I gotta get a screenshot of that momentous moment. Thought I'd drop by and say hi before going to bed. I hope you have a good night's sleep. I miss getting to chat with you and I've missed, I haven't seen you in so long. Like I haven't been watching a lot of other people's streams just due to time zones and stuff. So I hope everything's good with you. 
The time goes by too damn quick. Can you slow it down, Batsy? I, did, I don't remember if that's one of the games you can slow it down. Yeah, Blue Sky, you're waiting for 1.1. I forget about that. Maybe that's when I'll pick it back up again. We'll see. You still stop playing till 1.1? My hairdresser said you should never mess with the Fae. She might be a witch. <laughs> Boozy. Oh, you can't? It does go by fast. But at least if you pass out, it just kind of sends you home. You're doing okay getting there? Good, good. Okay, we got up so early. we will be That's having great. a baby. So what's the date? If you're tired. So I guess maybe now the 26th. The 23rd is when we decided to have a baby and it took a few days to make it happen. Oh, I missed Ernest's birth. Oh, no, that's end of the month. I missed cheese. Um. Okay, what is it you want to... Today, his treatment is finished. See, I'd rather deal with this than the combat stuff, the event. Been super busy with your sewing? Well, that can be a good thing. I wish I had learned how to sew... Yeah, Johnny, in Coral Island you can, but in Fae Farm you cannot. Slow it down. You want to try to play Stardew Valley, but it seems very rough for beginners. I love Stardew Valley so much. You have to be in a patient mood for it, I think. Especially with the fishing. I rage quit the first time I played because of the fishing in Stardew Valley, and I don't rage quit easily. I mean, I almost threw my controller. <laughs> like, this is some BS. But then I picked it up again a few days later and just went very slowly and, and just realized it's just going to take time to get used to it. Lucy, <laughs> you're serious? See, I'm trying to decide if it was a hairdre your hairdresser in real life. I mean, I think she probably is. And I think that's good advice. Don't mess with the Fae. I'm just trying to figure out how you and your hairdresser got on the subject or if she just said it out of the blue. Oh, you were talking about different games, and she came to a dead stop when I brought up Fay Farm. Oh my gosh, Boozy, I love it. That's so good. <laughs> I want to go to your hairdresser. You started playing it again, Rebecca? You absolutely love the fishing in Fay Farm. Yeah, it's not so bad. Stardew's not that rough. It was my gateway game and remains my favorite. I love it so much. It's such a good game for my mental health. It just, I get lost and absorbed in it. And if you're playing it on the PC, Batsy, you can add a mod. Like if there's things like you don't like, like the fishing, you can get a mod for it and you don't have to deal with the mini game anymore. Yeah, Steam Spring Sale is today. Oh, I didn't know that was starting today. Nice. He's cured. This illness cannot be completely cured. Now, as long as he takes the medicine, there is no danger. The recipe for treatment I'm calling it Sarnile. All after his mom. The machine, of course, will be named after you. I plan to make this treatment process public. No one will suffer from this disease. His mom's name longer. was Sarnai, and she died from it. Ah, uh, have fun all. Nice to see you again. Moxie, need to get to bed. It's 4.15. Charms, that's what time I get up. Go get your sleeps. You take care of yourself, and we will see you very soon. Nice, it goes till the 21st. I'll have to go see what's on sale. Can't get into those pixelated games. Your brain doesn't know what to do with that whole thing. I get it, Boozy. That's why Tom doesn't like it. Not started in the UK yet on Steam? Boo. Started at 10 a.m.? We should go look at the store. <laughs> I got to the bottom of the mine to open the Fey Realm, and I'm stuck trying to catch a sardine to finish the quest. Oh, it always breaks your line. Yeah, I remember doing that. Like Coral Island fishing, but my favorite fish is in Harvest Moon. I have not really played the Harvest Moon games. Coral Island fishing's okay, it's not bad. Yeah, all games have pixels, Art Boozy. Just think of it in those terms. <laughs> Stardew's on sale. Oh my god, it's already such a good bargain for what you get at the regular price, because I think it's normally like, what, $15? So yes. I would say get it, but Batsy, just be in one of your patient, calm moods when you play it. I know sometimes you, you're, I don't know if you're 
if you're like my husband, you get a little impatient sometimes. We've I just get that vibe. Done I could be thing. way off. Let's celebrate soon. After my father recovers. I'm sorry, I'm talking all over this. Leave. Uh, so will you forgive your father? We'll we'll say how do you feel? I That's a whole complicated issue here. It's a guy thing. <laughs> I know we did the right thing. Whatever happens to him, I'm not sure how I feel. Little is certain other than I feel a weight off my shoulders. Knowing he isn't looking for me anymore, I'll say that mm -hmm. I feel a sense of peace. And I'm also certain that wouldn't be possible without you. Give me some time. Let's talk about this again soon. Okay. Have a good night's sleep. What so we have to you? give you more time. Wait, mm -hmm. let's. It says speak to your partner, but let's just. Okay, let's talk I had to him a again. Good night's sleep. My swan. Yeah. Oh, this is about the pregnancy. Being a mother is the greatest role in life. Take this gift and thank you for everything. <laughs> well, you're welcome, sir. <laughs> People often say that breakfast is the most important meal. A of lounging the day. chair. Lovely. Uh, we're just gonna go with a hug. I want to give X a gift, so I need X to fly off his shoulder. Sunhaven's 40% off, and Moonstone Island is 25% off. I forgot about Moonstone Island. People often say that I would is recommend the most Sunhaven. Meal of the Again, day. though, a pixelated game, so if you don't like pixels, it's not the game for you. We have a rocking chair in here, we've got that chair. And the stupid game won't let me put stuff there. It, the Here, it's going to block the uh, front door. Like, I could try putting it at this table, but then every time I run in the door, I'm going to be running into this table. Or this chair. That doesn't look very good there. I don't think I have anywhere for it upstairs. Oh, that's right. I was moving stuff around over here. Sure. This I moved to try and squeeze a bed in over here. Since our child will need a bed. This is kind of combination child's loft and now bedroom. I, I don't know. He always goes upstairs and goes out on the patio. Time, my time at Sandrock is 25% off. Nice. This is from all reviews on Steam for Stardew Valley. Overwhelmingly positive. 557,760. Oh, yeah, that's, that is a lot. Oh, it looks so pretty. Look at how green and lush everything is. Yeah, it's like the farming game. How about Dinkum? Is Dinkum on sale? That's another one I would highly recommend. I think almost everybody here has it. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> they would actually make a cute couple. Oh, Mia and Mia. Everything looks truly wonderful. I never imagined our town being so beautiful again. So Dingum's 20% off too, that. nice. <clears throat> Go Team Greenhouse. I'd like to thank Operation Flowergate. Um, <laughs> I love that the options, there's an option to just say nothing. Oh, Ikone Island is interesting. I actually have, I think, one recording of the demo or something. I, I'm, I'm not, it looked interesting. I think you can play, if it's the one I'm thinking of, is like four different characters switching off between the characters. I didn't get a super good feel for the game, but it, it, it intrigued me. You love Sandrock when it's green like this, so pretty. Agreed. Everyone works so hard. Certainly. You all know that as well as anyone. Well, I thank you for your modesty. I hope after this you'll have a bit of time to rest. Dude, to go around. Stop and smell the roses, so to speak. Nice! Then our Yeah, we have the letter done. about this. And it's time to disband Operation Flowergate once and for all. Hi, Princey. No oh my way. gosh, are you okay? Plans for my dime, Minister Virgie Boy. 
plant till I die. Cute. Dude, go around. Prince just like half fell, half got up off the sofa. It was very loud. Oh, I mean, sure. We'll come up with some new organization when the need comes. But I think we've flowered this town up as far as it'll go. I should give Icona Island another I look. I hate to admit, you might be right. You know, the new landscaping does call for constant upkeeping. Ah! We've got to be prepared. Emergency meeting at the flower cave, stat! Bridgie boy! Oh, okay! <laughs> Those two? <laughs> Glad they're on our right. side. Yeah, me too. You know... I'm just real glad the whole plan went off without a hitch. Not so surprising, considering all the wonderful people that worked on this. Coming from Highwind, I'm really surprised at the concentration of talented people in this town. And look at you! You've really shaped up into quite the Sandrock legend. Prince, no. maybe I should have seen Sorry, it Sorry, I should have muted. Even when we were kids, you'd be so reliable. Remember when we used to snag honey out of beehives? If you didn't always stand watch for the bee swarm, our faces might look a bit different right now. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, everyone gets their start somewhere. Uh, you left out the part where I, I got stuck. I was trying to give you credit. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, I lost count of how many times we had to scrounge together pocket change to get you that lotion with the picture of the bee on it. Oh, be careful, pain relief ointment. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Sounds like you two got into all sorts of trouble growing up. Hey, is it me or is Big Tree on Mount Roxanne looking a bit different? Yes, I noticed that the other day. Mama, Mama Tree! Tree! Let's head over and check it out. Well, model, we've done it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got to go run really fast while the game's paused here. That looks gorgeous. And let my dog out. He is just winding up a storm in the other room. You can watch the beautiful mama tree and I will be right back. I set a 15 minute timer so I don't forget to let him back in. But <laughs> boozy, so how's everyone doing? Duchess wouldn't go out, so she's probably gonna wanna go out in about three to five minutes. This time of year is when they get kind of annoying with that, and I'm gonna bug Tom about replacing our back door so we can get a doggy door. Yeah, that's a good point. Sometimes, Batsy, I agree with you. Pixelated games can be hard to see. Some are easier for me to see than others. Like Stardew Valley, I have no trouble with it. Sometimes all of the different artwork and stuff and things on the screen, like with um, Sunhaven, like my eyes can get a little overwhelmed with it. This looks so beautiful. Oh, if you could see our boy now. Hey, Pa, looks like others also noticed. Oh, you installed it into the back wall. That's an interesting idea. I might bring that up. Those are big pixels. I'm biased, though. I enjoy them pixel art games. I do, too. Oh, which of Fern Island is 30% off? I really want to get into that game, too. Is that one still in early access? That might be one. Maybe I'll just wait till it's farther along to try it out. Hello, everyone. Because we're going to have this going, plus Stardew Valley, plus Dinkum. Woohoo! 
next to the French doors that works for us. See, we just have a regular old back door. We, if he couldn't cut the door to fit one in, I mean, I don't know. It is. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, it recently went 1.0? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I heard it was still like a little glitchy or still had some issues. You saved the tree. Looks just like it did 30 years ago. Yeah, it's a miracle. A scientific miracle! A miracle performed by us! Yeah, natural healing processes, etc. I'm not even sure anymore. I know. You worked very hard to make this happen. You didn't have to, but I am eternally grateful. Being here with you guys for so long, this became our struggle too. Wow, I'd forgotten what this view could look like. My ma used to take me up here from time to time. After her disappearance, this tree died and I never wanted to come up here again. But I guess everything turned out for the best. Yeah, I do recall that's why she's playing it now. So is it still kind of buggy, though? I, I definitely was hearing some comments. I don't know if it was somebody else's stream I was watching. I haven't watched Jersey play it yet. Somebody else I was watching had some comments about it. I can't remember who. Martel would have been very proud of what you accomplished, Zeke. Nearly it 70 does look years pretty. of history has all led to this. This is only the beginning. We made Sandra green again. We can do anything. Hey, Pa. Come look at this. Uh-oh. Pa? Mort? Pa? Oh. Pa, are you all right? Oh. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> Mort, don't here. scare me like that. It seems to have really taken it out of me. Although, that would have probably been the perfect way to go at this tree. Glad you're all right. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> I'm still fit <laughs> as a fiddle. Mort, you scared us. You're playing it now on the Steam Deck and it's working a lot better. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Tony. I know, me too, Blue Sky. I, my eyes were about to just start tearing up. Brr. <laughs> Do you all feel that? Suddenly got a bit nippy up here. Oh, do we have a spirit? A wind blows. A gentle wind that once would have prophesied ruin now soothes me. Yeah, no more sandstorms. Just just nice, gentle winds. Oh. Hey, that's... Got caught in the leaves. Could have gone straight through. Get it, Zeke. It's Ma's letter from your scrapbook. The one that got blown off in the sandstorm. For it to end up all the hey, way Christian. up here. I know, Tony, you got chills. This is the letter from... That is so cool that it's just managed to find its way up here at their special tree. <laughs> Without naming anyone, someone Moxie knows has 382 hours in which of her islands, so they're probably best to confirm if it's got any bugs. I will be sure to check in with that person because I probably know who you mean. <laughs> pa, we, we I really need to find time for it. Home. Open it up when Ma comes back. Like you said. How's it going, Christian? No, it's time. I've known for some time now. Hmm. No, I think they have more like a chocolate in their name. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ha ha ha. <laughs> You're tired and snowed in. 
I don't know what area you're in, but I saw that like Colorado and the Rockies and stuff were being hit hard with snow right now. You bought, you brought back the mama tree back to life. Yeah. I had to be careful what games I try. I get, oh, you get motion sickness if it's in first person or the motion is too janky. Yeah, you're, in, I, I knew you were probably around Colorado when you said snowed in. What? Oh, you stay What's safe and warm and cozy. She wanted me to take you, Zeke, and ride down to High Wind. What? What? If you're reading this letter, I bet my life on Sandrock and lost. Oh. I failed Akil. I failed Theo. I failed Sandrock. And worst of all, I failed you, Mort. We've lost too many good people, and now there are none left. But our story doesn't have to end like this. Take Zeke east. Find a new life. Survive. I haven't lost everything if I know that you've made it. I can rest easy knowing you're safe. So, please... Don't throw your life away chasing this foolish woman's foolish dream. Aww. Let Sandrock go. If she could only see it now. You... you never opened it? Hmm. Would you have gone? If you'd known? I... would have. I came here a traveler, like everyone back then. I only stayed because of her. She inspired many of us. Her dream became our dream. And I loved her more than life itself. I would have done anything. I did when she disappeared. I couldn't believe it. Why would I? She spent months in that desert every year. I believed she would return, so... No, I did not read the letter. Ooh, Graveyard Keeper, 80% off. I've still never played that. I have heard good things about that one. You carried the torch for her, Trudy, without question, and nearly met the same fate. Oh. Hey. Ma's spirit was stronger than her body could ever be. She gave us hope when there was none. Her memory kept us all alive, kept us fighting. There was only one thing she loved more than Sandrock. A nap sounds like a good idea, AJ. It was you and me, Pa. Hmm. You all were right. It... it is quite a view. Uh, the wind's picking up. Come on, Mort. Let's get you down the mountain before you catch a cold. If it's all right, I'd like to stay a little longer. I've got him. You all go on ahead. It's so touching. All right. Maybe better give him some space. Yeah. Don't stay up here too long, all right? Look at us. A couple of old fools. Pretty good. For a couple of fools. Her <laughs> dream. It came true after all. All because of one stubborn, <laughs> see? stubborn old man. Now I know how Boozy feels about Haven, Doc. <laughs> hey, you think that was Martel's spirit who sent Mort the letter just now? Yeah. Uh, look at the snake coming after me. It's nice knowing that <laughs> someone like Martel's up there watching over us. Hey, Fluttershy, how's it going? Things are not always as they seem. That's a lesson we learn time and time again in Sandrock. In my book. Both Mort and Martel are both heroes, more than ever. Everyone will want to know the truth, 
but for now, let's just give them some peace. Good. Now, let's all get back to our greener Sandrock. I want to try to find time to, to do a stream of the demo for Sunnyside. That's a farming game coming out sometime this year. I, about back in 2022, I recorded a few episodes um, of the alpha. I don't even remember how or why they approached me or how I got access to just like a limited alpha period of that. <laughs> but um, I heard a noise. I'm waiting to see what pops up. Oh, the match thing. Oh. See, again, I think it's it's too late to sign up because of everything going on. Oh, Talon is up and about. Greetings. You're looking well. Fang isn't speaking to me still. I'll be leaving soon. You and my son have given me a second chance at life. I intend to make better use of the time I have left, and... Sounds like you'll be busy, Batsy. I'm glad you got all of that. So you can get Graveyard Keeper and all its DLCs plus the uh, OST for under $11 right now. Hmm. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. I got cut off. I got distracted mid-sentence. Hold on a second. You now have his father's blessing. Wow, we finally have the blessing. You're going to be a grandfather. Um, if we don't meet again, I'll say goodbye now. He's fortunate to have met you. Oh. Mm -hmm. So Mort waited all this time for? Hmm. I might have done the same. Aww. Mm. Um, yeah, Sunnyside. Uh, it takes place in the Try Japanese con coming to the countryside. So many patients. Oh, he doesn't want I'm me to get sick. get sick. Um, the demo lets you play the first... 10 in-game days. So I was going to start recording it yesterday, but you cannot save your progress. So I would have to just do one big long recording and edit it down. Or I thought it might be more fun to just try and figure out when I can sneak in a stream for it. So I'm going to try to do that soon in the next few days. I told Tom I might be streaming this weekend. I want to see how the game's changed since Alpha till now. Oh, original soundtrack. It took me a minute to remember what OST was. <laughs> I almost never get the soundtracks. I have the soundtrack for uh, Stardew Valley, though. But yeah, you can order your seeds and stuff online. You, you use your cell phone in-game for a lot of stuff. I think you use a drone for building, if I recall, like on your farm. It was, I remember the scenery was really pretty. Your character looks a little more cartoony, if I recall, compared to the rest of the game. Oh, let me go see if I can get my dog to come in the house. He's been outside for 15 minutes. Um, I'm also just going to take a quick potty break. I will be right back, you guys. Sorry.
So, how's everyone doing today? <laughs> you want to play with a drone? Yeah, there is a demo for Sunnyside. It is a planned release for 2024. Uh, get rid of that. Prince did not want to get up. You have a backlog of games? I know! I had another demo I was going to do for y'all. I don't even remember the name now. It's like, I just don't have time. All right. The 19th day of spring is the day of the bright sun. How are we back to that already? That's like our third time. Don't forget that if you want to join in the celebration festival, you need to hand in your gift at City Hall before the 18th. Great. Jasmine sent us a Yathmel doll. I should just turn that in as our gift because we're getting a bunch of those. Hey, Taco Latte, how's it going? We were just talking about the Witch of Fern Island. Or Fern Isle, or whatever. How's the game playing? Because I had heard some mixed things, but maybe that was before it was fully released. I need to retire today, now? That should fix it? It might. Princey, can you please... Usually it's Duchess who is a problem when I'm streaming. Okay, go get water today. Thank you, Bubba. Good boy. Okay, both dogs are on the sofa. Hopefully they will both stay there and just be chill. Nemo. I probably need to get a pet whistle if I don't have it already. Nemo. Nemo. <laughs> I have a dog around here somewhere. Yeah, oh yeah, check the map. Okay. I just did, oh there is, I see his little head now. <laughs> He's so derpy and cute, I love him. Uh, go dig. Good boy. Um... We should have quite a few gifts, actually. Let me put some stuff away. Maybe we even donate, like, a relic or something that we've put back together that I have lots of extras of. And we just... My husband just told me chocolate latte. I'm expecting a baby. So in two in-game in weeks, we're going to be having a baby. <laughs> As Tom would say, though, he says this with every TV show. Babies ruin everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to have a baby on his second playthrough. Uh, you fella. Got some hyacinth orchid. Oh well, yeah, we can give that to X. All right, let's donate something. Like, look at, I have so many eagle statues. Let's donate one of those for the Day of the Bright Sun. <laughs> See, imagine that being dropped out of a blimp on you. <clears throat> for an island plays well, early, early access had problems. Maybe that's what I'm confusing it with and why you stopped. I get it gray flat thing but you found him <laughs> yeah how are you liking it i'm gonna guess by the amount of hours you've been playing it that you are still enjoying it i'm just trying to figure out if i have time because i know there are a lot of games i start just to check them out and see what they look like and then i don't have time to finish them and it kind of bugs me that i don't finish them You've never had children in any game? I haven't either. This is my first, unless you count Andy. I mean, he is a handful. They're all up at the fighting. We can go watch some of it. I just didn't feel like participating in it today because there was other story stuff going on. You haven't even gotten married in a game? I I didn't think I had. I forgot I did in my in uh, uh, Stardew Valley. You do romance in Paleo, though. Well, they're not looking for much either there. They're not moving in with you. You're not starting a family. 
You never had a spouse, but in Coral Island it will be a first. Nice. I th I don't know if it's too. I think we might be able to place some bets. Might even might even be a little late for that. Oh, maybe not. Ryan and Danby. For, okay, let's let's confirm. Let's go Zeke and Ernest because Zeke is a badass. Elsie and Crystal. Oh, Grace and Nia could be an interesting. I'm gonna go with them. And then Grace and Nia. Although Burgess has been practicing a lot. Let's see. See now, Duchess is up. I swear, if she wants to go out, I'm just calling it. <laughs> Finally got the call for your neurology appointment. It'll be in two-ish months. Good. Take care, Doxy Mom. We'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for doing the shout-out commands. I'm glad they actually worked today. I hope you your appointment goes well. I hope you have a great rest of your day, too. Hugs to you. I hope that helps out, Patsy. Okay, so Zeke and Ernest won the first round. You're happy Jersey got into Fern Island. Someone I know to watch and help. <laughs> Makes a change from watching games I'm not going to spend on. I missed it. I didn't see who won that round. Okay. Oh, Logan and Pablo or Zeke and Ernest. Oh, I don't know. The two strong, strong people are Logan and Z. I kind of want to go Logan and Pablo. This is a very long Hello. event. Okay, let's hey give you the Sand Eagle statue. Okay, that looks like that went. Everybody liked that. And Joe's our buddy. I know, I don't want to bet about against Pablo for sure. For anyone playing my time at Sandrock, there's an achievement winner and still champion if you win and come in first in the battles. I guess we could try and do it tomorrow. I, for some reason, I'm not that interested in this oh, one. You. Just because of how long it takes. Like, how long till the next battle? Let's go, guys. Oh, wait. So is that what... Oh, the date and then the time that it starts, I guess? 1800? Is that when the next one starts? All right. It is a long day. I know this uses disks, but it's faster. It's instant. Yeah, that I already have one on display. The only clothing is my one little pair of pants. I'll have to go grab other clothing out of storage, but whenever I've tried none of my other clothing, I think the stuff I make, though, I'll be able to display. Have we not done a Stone Eagle statue yet? 
Okay. And I can make more of our machines and donate some large machines or something. Because I do have a furnace. We've got a recycling. Oh, that's right. I do have that one, too. So those go on, like, the medium, but I think the industrial machines might go on the larger displays. You have 57 of 60 achievements. Nice, Blue Sky. You missed signing up, so could only bet, so have to progress until it comes around again. Okay, so maybe tomorrow morning I should try to get it done. Just ignore everything, but if there's a cutscene or something, I mean, I know time kind of... Why, why, are, why are we fighting outside of the arena? What? Why are our winning crystal going at it outside the arena? I feel like I'm watching the WWE or something and they've taken it out of the cage. Nice. Yeah, you gotta beat Penn sparring. I do. I mean, I got the achievement for that just through the storyline and stuff. But yeah, I would like to spar and beat him in Sandrock before he's gone. Who did I put my money on? I think Crystal and Elsie? So I figured Crystal could swing a hammer. The tour is pretty good though. Ah shoot, I zigged when I should have zagged. Ooh. Okay, so thumbs okay, so they won that one. Interesting. Oh my god, my dogs are driving me nuts, y'all. They are so distracting. Hey Lorian, how's it going? It's good fun when you do. He has funny dialogue. I need to do that. Shoot, we could just do a whole nother playthrough. I'm trying to remember where I am on my other playthrough that I was doing before 1.0 came out. Oh no, I'd done up to the Dubo stuff, so it would be too late on that playthrough. I would have to start a new one. Alright, while we wait for this next match to start, I'm closing my door because my dogs are being crazy. Hold on. I may just have to start streaming with them locked out of this room. I'm not going to go through all spring and summer like this where every 10 minutes one of them wants out. Yeah, let's get started, right, Mabel? Come on, let's go, guys. Three minutes. <laughs> go, Burgess. Although I bet against you. Rub some hands together. <laughs> Congrats on beating Pen. Well, I expected better, Grace. throwing weapon? What does Nia have? She's got like some sort of throwing weapon. I bet wrong. I should have bet my money on Burgess. All that practicing of his has paid off. I should have known better. All those times he calls us skinny arms? Payback time. I do want that payback. I think off camera, I'm gonna have to start a new playthrough just for some special streams or moments here or there for beating Penn, marrying everybody. <laughs> oh, Heidi. I'm 
and also doing laundry today, now folding. I'll have to get back to you within six to eight weeks, right? I'm doing laundry too. Usually that's what I'm doing during Aussie streams is folding. Wow, I was very wrong. Burgess, I should have believed in you more. Nia, suck it up. Stop crying. Wow, we did not do that great today with our predictions. Oh, they, they go one more round. That was only one of two. When I beat Penn, I plan to gloat a lot and there will be cackling. Love it, AJ. <laughs> May you defeat the laundry monster. Yeah. Oh, William Burge is just punching. Yeah. Okay, can we pick teams if I sign up for tomorrow? I am picking Burgess. Tomorrow's competition has already... See, if it's already been arranged for tomorrow, that means I'm too late, right? You have to sign up on day one. I'm going to have to play through a whole other year to do this. Oh, I thought Burgess won. I'll pick Grace and Nia. So yeah, this is tomorrow's? Or is this tonight? I'm very confused. Oh, yeah, that's the third. That's tomorrow. Do you have a high table? Oh, I just use my desk. Folding tends to hurt my back more than just washing. I can't, yeah, I can't stand and fold. I have to sit down and do it, either at the sofa on the dining living room table or uh, on my desk. You have your bed, it's an adjustable. Prediction reward. Oh, you managed to successfully predict the winner of the showdown at high noon. Got 200 goals and 10 badges. So we, we got a couple of them, right? How many goals do we have? Wait. Not enough, only 42,000. Yeah, the game does not do a good job on that. So between the cutscenes and other stuff, it, it was too late for me to sign up. I mean, I could have pushed it, I guess, a little bit. That's an achievement I probably won't get then. Oop, ad canceled. Fireside added to reminders. That's great. If you're tired, make sure to take. Mm -hmm. nice I will take one. a break. How do you feel? Any discomfort? That's so sweet. I should have remembered that from last time, and I didn't. I had a good night's sleep. What about I you? slept great, thank you. X, I really need to interact with you. <laughs> you got up early. Okay, great. just keep standing in there talking to yourself. I think tired, he's sure to take a uh, he's a little bit stressed, struggling a bit with the uh, idea of his impending fatherhood. I was waiting to see if X was going to come flying out. I, I think he's, yeah, he's upstairs with Fang. Hey, Logan, you want to hang out today? I'll say hi. Hmm. When I was young, my pa would take me to the tree. You could see all over Sandrock. Perfect place for a campfire and recon. Uh-huh. I think I've blown my ears out sitting next to Andy on that ro roller coaster ride. That's so cute. See ya. See ya. Yeah, it's supposed to be warming in the 60s here today. My mom says it's supposed to be like 80 or something in South Carolina where she is. Uh, from Trudy, Sandrock has made leaps and bounds in recent days, and it's all thanks to you. In your great efforts for this town, I'm making a big announcement on the coattails 
of our great success tomorrow at 1800 in front of the City Hall. I think you'll be quite pleased with what's in store for us, so please be there. Oh, good! I've been wondering when this was going to start. It is done. I have been toiling away tirelessly in the shadows, creating my masterpiece. Come to my studio. Words cannot do it justice. Ma wrote back, that's great. Your pa and I are going to have to come and see, but maybe there's something more suitable than a roller coaster. I'm a little worried about your pa's blood pressure. Love you lots. Ah, we gotta go see Pablo. I'll let the animals just hang out here today. I'm gonna end up selling most of that stuff. I don't know why I don't just to open the helper box instead of that box. And is that just a piece? It's just pieces. Those I can sell or gift. Okay, I think I'll sell them. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Something just right there. Okay, and then by the Civil Corps and Pablo. Let's go. <clears throat> hey, Super Jake, how's it going? Look, there's the builder. Come join us. Mia needs your help. What kind of help? Well, you know how I've been helping out at the moisture farm. But with the greenification of Sandrock almost complete, I'm going to have more free time. So, I was thinking, maybe it's time for me to start something of my own. I want to settle down in Sandrock, just like you have. But I'm still not sure what that something should be. Mian told me to follow my dreams and do what my heart desires. You know, I've always had a passion for tending the various busy. plants in the garden since I was a kid. I was gonna say, Boozy, what kind of farm? <laughs> I won't say it today, Boozy. So... I don't know, breed some rare varieties of plants for sale? That's an interesting idea, but it might take time. Ooh, I could open a shop! But what would I sell? Gardening tools? That's perfect! And you could also sell flowers. You know, I've always wanted to be a shop owner too. When I was a kid, I used to dream of opening a bakery or a florist shop. Funny how life turned out. I became a builder like the rest of my family. While I might not be skilled at growing plants, I love having them to decorate my house. I'm sure there are more people like me in Sandrock, and we right, don't have AJ. catering to that yet. I feel like these two should be a couple, and she can build things, and Nia can sell them in her little shop, and they would be the cutest little perfect couple. So I think that's a brilliant idea. I see. Selling flowers makes sense. It's easier than dealing with just gardening tools, which I have to import and find storage space for. But I know, we're just going to sell plants, them breed them. Perhaps Zeke <laughs> would even let me use a plot in his moisture farm. How's it going, common gameplay, Nico? Sorry, Boozy, she said the word. But how can I afford to rent a shop? I know I could ask my family for support as a last resort, but I'd prefer to figure it out on my own. Uh, I, 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 uh, yeah, I can lend you the money, but we should focus on a location really? first. Really, really? Wow, I just gave You're her 5,000 goals. <laughs> <laughs> I'll happily accept it. But don't fret. I'll pay you back once the profits roll I in. I mean, she's our childhood friend. Of course we're going to help her. Now, let's think about the location. The main street doesn't have much space for a new shop. And if we set up too far from the town center, it might be inconvenient for people. Especially if they want to buy those heavy Living you? Tools. Yeah, about the same. I woke up today, so it's a good day. I have a balcony in front of my workshop that's currently free to use, but it's not big enough for a whole shop. What if we just set up a flower display rack there? That's a cute idea. Ah, a display rack with a canopy! That sounds about right. It'll look lovely on my balcony and provide some extra shopping space. By the way, have a I good dinner. Have Spaghetti sounds yummy. Donating to the Sandrock School. We'll see so you later, chocolate latte. It. You know, it's like an investment. <laughs> 
Patsy, that was yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. But what the Builder has offered is more than enough. But it's just that I'd really love to be a part of this. I mean, I told you I dreamed of opening a shop when I was a kid. Yeah, we were I talking about joking. that, Patsy. I just never got the chance. It's pie day, and I totally forgot I was going to order a pie with our grocery order today, and I did not get a supply. That's why I want to invest in the business. I thought you could use some extra goals to order different flowers from other places and attract more customers. And I could help you with whatever you need help with. I just... <laughs> I kind of wish to run the business with you. Is that a possibility? Ah, I see. Of course. I'd love to be business partners with you, Mian. It would be a dream come true for both of us. Really? Thank you so much, Nia. Just tell me what you need me to do. While I may not be an expert in planting, I'll try my best. I'll even ask Zeke to teach me some techniques. Have a great rest of your day, AJ. You take care. It's really good seeing you again. That's all right. We'll figure out the planting part together. First, let's come up with a name for our business. Even if it's just a few racks, it's our special place. <laughs> Any ideas? So a name involving your racks. Got it. <laughs> <clears throat> it, yeah, naming's not my thing. I thought so too. <clears throat> I want the name to represent both of us in some way. Pie day is important. The number or the eating of? I'm gonna say the eating of. Yeah, our racks, Boozy. <laughs> hmm, but Neon, 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 they don't sound very catchy. <laughs> How about we put your name first? We could call it me Minnie Because it's small and cute plus people will immediately know it belongs to you and me That's brilliant. I love it. This is taking oh, really long Minnie <laughs> It reflects that we sell not only flowers but also plants and everything related to gardening And their voices are very quiet compared to the music and we just go let's name it Mini Botanica. Okay, Mini Botanica we sounds have a great. Name and a location. Now I need to prepare some flowers for sale. <laughs> and of course, the flower display rack. Anything you can help with? I'm sorry, she is a builder and you are a, a, like a botanist type person, but sure. I'll build the display oh, rack. That would be so special. <laughs> You two grew up together, and now you're literally helping Nia build her business. I'll help with growing I the I probably flowers. had the flowers. I'm not an expert, but I'll do whatever Nia asks me to do. Don't worry. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Okay, I'll design a recipe for the display rack. And I'll ask around and see what people want to buy from our shop, and then get the flower seeds. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for your help. We'll send you what you need tomorrow. Goodbye. See you soon. Lovely. Great. <laughs> I'm helping the builder and the flower lady with building a... Thing. Yeah, we talked about all the things that it is today, including Pie Day. It's Popcorn Lovers Day. There was mention of uh, spiders, but then that that wasn't a thing. <laughs> I don't know. I know. Call me Gameplay Nico. <laughs> Why do I have to help? M Mian is a builder. It's their shop. I've just given you 5,000 goals, and now I have to build things and or grow flowers? The uh, thing is, if I picked flowers, I bet I have them in storage already. Yeah, I don't care about the match. Over it. It's a very long event, and I didn't sign up for it yesterday. Oh, this could be stuff with Miguel. We might have a decision to make here. If it's what I think it is. I've been in contact True with the Alliance Council. And I just can't in good faith recommend anything other than the full extent of the law. Transfer to the Atara Maximum Security Prison. You betrayed us and have shown no sign of remorse. I will contact the authorities and organize the transport. You should, Patsy. My husband married her in a playthrough. I accept all punishments, truly, and will abide accordingly. Then I will keep you informed of the date of your departure. I just can't understand it. Why? It's no excuse. But I did what I believed was right. But this town, everyone living here, after all you did for us, everything you said in your sermons, 
You kept us safe. Your guidance. I even trusted you to teach my daughter. Huh. Yeah, I'd have to ask Tom. I didn't really ask how she was as a spouse. But that sounds very opposite of his real life spouse. <laughs> Too needy and hard work. Sociopathy is a thing, Trudy. I thought you cared. Yeah, I, but Miguel kind of also got a little bamboozled by the larger plot. He didn't know everything that was going on. I truly do. Please, don't give me that. I mean, I feel like he was used, but I also feel a little bit like he's a criminal because of what some of the stuff was that was going on. He's right, Duvos for life. No. Why am I a softie today? Is it because my character is hormonal and expecting? He was used. That That is true. No. I was not used. Okay, betrayed. Not Sorry, betrayed. that's what I said first. My actions were my own. And I am no one's puppet. I will face all the consequences with dignity. Well, thank you for your cooperation. You said that the water was a cover for their true intentions. I have been taken for a fool. This I realize now more than ever. I truly thought Duvos wanted the same thing as me. That they were on the right side of history. Their actions do not correlate to the proclamations they gave me. Recently, I have been grasping at something, anything, that would validate my actions since I have been in Sandrock. The more I searched, the more I came to only one truth. There was nothing. My handlers were simply telling me what they wanted me to believe. I must have been simply a diversion. If I could have pushed everyone out of Sandrock, and Duvos could excavate the ruins in secrecy. My arrest threw a proverbial wrench into the works, and it appears to have pushed their hand. I was then left to rot. They never cared about me. They never cared about my ideals. How did you fall for all of it? When I was of age, I left to study in Mady. My family were believers in the light, and I dreamed of spreading the word. I always feared the day of calamity. Feared the light being extinguished once more. I quickly befriended Matilda. She was older than me, working as a tutor in the guided study sessions. I remember when I first met her when I attended her session the first time. She was helping a group of students <laughs> with their questions on faith. Oh, so a cult. Understood. <laughs> she was kind understanding. Whenever I disagreed with the doctrine of the church, she listened. Later, I started to feel that the teachings were not enough. <clears throat> what did you disagree with? The Church of the Light has an unwavering trust in people above all else. It's the individual people that cut the human race through the Age of Darkness. This is why you see Sandrock being somewhat loose with Age of Corruption technology. I am somewhat more pessimistic about human nature. Allowing humans freedom to pursue their vanities is what led to the Day of Calamity. Those around me in the church did not take the teaching seriously. Even the deacon. It was as if they had forgotten the sins of our forefathers. During my studies, I became depressed. I drifted further from the teachings, became isolated, and found myself more radical. Then an agent from Duvos made contact. Oh, you have Portia? He told me that Duvos would regulate technology. Everything I heard aligned with my beliefs. They wanted structure. They wanted to ensure no one else ever lost their lives. They wanted to ensure the safety of humanity. I see now in retrospect. I liked Portia, it was fun. my grief against me. She was conditioning me. She must have told them agent of my wavering faith and guided their hand from the background. So what happened to you? Well, I was studying at Mady. My town was destroyed. Sorry his voice is so I'm quiet fine. right now. Doss, I'm a child of the lost city. 
Uh, what happened at DOS? I've never heard of DOS. You haven't really played it, though. I never finished my time at Portia, and I really want to. Our existence was always a delicate balance. Being a town skirting the border of the peripheries, we were aware of the dangers. Largely went unbothered. As I went to study in Lady, I bid my hometown farewell, though kept in regular contact. It may surprise you, but I took part in many of the onboarding activities and was a strong advocate for the church school. It seems strange to reflect on that now. During my studies, Doss was attacked by a creature from the peripheries. It happened overnight, without warning. Everyone in town was killed. My parents. My brother. You cannot imagine it. My entire town destroyed by a monster in the blink of an eye. Just thinking about what my people went through. It is truly harrowing. The I am sorry that happened. I cannot comprehend what my family endured. I pray that it was quick. When the news was announced at school, I felt everyone's eyes on me. They were fixed, filled with an empty pity. I fell into a trance, simply glided through the halls, unable to process what had happened. I needed to talk, to confront it. Where were the Rangers or the Civil Corps? How did we not see it coming? How? How could the Alliance let this happen? The questions burned into my mind. I sought answers, but people avoided me. Said I was too intense. Within a week, people were laughing again. Enjoying themselves. They'd all forgotten already. Countless lives lost, yet they returned to yeah, their lives does. again as if nothing <laughs> happened. Everyone simply avoided me further. Except for Matilda. She was. I fell into the darkness. I sunk into the questions that were burning on my tongue. How could the Alliance let this happen? How are we allowing the sins of our forefathers leave us in ruin? How could the free city simply abandon us? I expected a rescue. I expected the rangers to search and destroy that monster from the peripheries, but... No. They saw it as a lost cause and moved on. My family Yeah, he was indoctrinated. Indo ind oh my god, I can't word. Left there for the wilds <laughs> to consume. Monologue. He is a crackpot. What can you do? He was indoctrinated. Meh. <laughs> it was then that my heart was blackened to the Alliance, that my thoughts started to drift. I was vulnerable. I was lost. I was found by Matilda and led astray. She would encourage me to think independently, to question myself. She said my fears were valid, and that I was a fiercely independent thinker. And while yeah, there she are quite did a few not agree with me, she valued my beliefs. I now believe she was taking note of my doubts, and behind closed doors crafting a narrative that reciprocated my beliefs. A narrative she then passed on to handlers. It was no mere coincidence that I was sold a beautiful vision of Duvos. I should have seen this sooner, but I was blinded by their words. It answered all of my questions. I know, I was going to say, you were kind of a useful idiot for them, weren't you? Uh, so she, uh, yeah, so everything you believed turned out to be lies? So. And my other dog now is outside the door whining. Oh, God. <laughs> was simply my own being reflected back to me. In that light, what I have done to Sandrock is unforgivable. It is only now that the blinds have been pulled back. I must face my actions head on. That's true, Tony. He has no one to sermon to in his cell. He's just been holding this all in. I still believe that we as a species need to control our desires to pursue unfettered technology. DOS must not happen again. However, that does not excuse what I did. I have wronged the people of this town and the free cities. I must accept penance for my actions. 
I must take this as a time for pushing. <laughs> Rainbow Dash, he talks too much. <clears throat> Thank you for coming to see me on this time. Okay. Later. Okay, now, oh yeah, let's go see Pablo. This I'm kind of excited about. Darling, you're here. <laughs> Why are you in your fighting stance? <laughs> he was ready to cut me. Um, yeah, I promised you I'd help. I knew you'd remember. <laughs> I've already finished designs for two collections. I'll nice. give you a sneak preview. Looking good. I designed two sets of clothing, some formal wear and swimwear. I've made more than 10 sets for each design. <laughs> That's funny. He thought I was going to burgle the shop. Oh, no. They're all really lovely. <laughs> you really are so wonderful. The scene. A rapidly changing sand rock. Blooming flowers. Celebrations all around. The people. Still dressed in their boring clothes. We need some aesthetics. We lack diversity. We need a breath of new, fashionable air. And then, here we are. With the lush trees, the flowing water, and the longing for a long dip. So light bulb moment, swimsuits. I never thought this day would come, but I finally think the time is right. I am going to put these on the catwalk. Yes, a fashion show. Yes, a fashion show. As I was drawing them, I could picture it. The lights, the gasping faces, <laughs> the stunning designs, and me at the back, needling the final touches on a hypnotizing piece. Yeah, maybe that is how he cuts hair, please, Sky. It will be a two-day affair. Each day focusing on one series. This was, I am hesitant to admit, in fact, Trudy's idea. She was more than supportive and believed one day to simply be too short. Now, what else is needed? First of all, clothing production. I am but the designer. I do not possess the skill to create these magnificent pieces. Ha! Huh, I can see your expression. No, I do not need you to make them. I have already asked Phoebe, and she has agreed to work with me. Now, the issue of the venue. Trudy believes that the show could bring in tourists and offered to host it outside the city hall. But the construction of the stage will be your piece de resistance. With Trudy's support, honestly, this has grown bigger than I could have imagined. I even have my models and they love the designs. Heidi's already made a diagram for you. You just need to make it and give it to me. That's not a problem, right? You can count on me. You're quite the go-getter, aren't you? It's positively charming. Well, I just have to prepare the clothes, organize the order of the show. Then, when you have built the stage, please give it to me. Heck yeah. Believe me, Sandrock will soon be the cosmopolitan hub of the free cities. Nice. I had a spoiler from from uh, watching Tom a little bit play when I was hanging out in the living room. So I knew that this was a thing that was going to be coming to the game and I've been looking forward to it. I like Pablo. So we need poplar wood boards, petrified wood sticks, and some more windproof cloth. So two more of the poplar wood boards. make a few extra and then what kind of the windproof cloth we need two more of those oh that's wool oh i need to add water uh some more wooden sticks Wrong machine. <laughs> okay, 
think that's everything we need that's going. I love Pablo's style. I think he looks really cool. You can do a low dance? All right. Good news, you can date and marry Pablo. You can. I would, I, I, that is another one I would be tempted because I'd love to learn more about him. Oh, you need water. Let's see if there's anything going on in the greenhouse. I forget to check. Fang and Rosie are kind of in charge of it, so... We're doing okay? We're doing okay. Plant some stuff back here. Let's just do some more jute. I forgot to uh, increase the size of our grid. Wait. That's the great thing about the game. There is someone for everyone. We got some wheat. We'll just stick that here. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, or we'll just do Rose Willow because I decided to scroll my mouse wheel. some sand leaks. Just scatter them around. Any other game I play with farming, I'm so particular or sometimes try to be a little more particular in how I plant stuff. This game, it's just yeah, where can we just fit it in? Do these take a four? Yeah. Okay. You don't like I like Pablo's fashion. I think it looks good. It suits him. Um, okay, so we're waiting on a letter. We're waiting on that stuff. Oh my god, it's already 11.30. I feel like we've hardly done anything. Yeah, same in Portia. There's somebody for everyone. I was wooing Arlo in Portia. Hadn't gotten married yet. Um. Yeah, we got a lot of those. Do I have any canvas? I do have some canvas. Got some of those. I don't have as much lime. Oh, no, I do have quite a bit of limestone. Let's do that one. I forgot I was gathering that and selling it. What are our prices? Ugh, I'm not going to sell it at 8% discount. I'll hold on to stuff. His haircut needs something to be desired. All that green. You don't like the green? I, I mean, a, another color could be more fun. I mean, I have purple hair, so I'm not going to judge it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody's up at the competition. I think I changed, I don't have, I think there's a DLC for NPC outfits. I don't have that, if there is. Um, but I did change a lot of their color schemes. I don't think you can change his hair, though. Yeah, I changed that color scheme. This is what he normally wears. And I changed him to the lighter color. Maybe we could, or did I? I don't remember now. Oh, no, I didn't. Let's put him in that one. Maybe that'll help. It has more green in the outfit to bring out the green of his hair. You may buy Sandrock. It's worth... I think so. If you have played my time at Portia and enjoyed it, I think you will love Sandrock. There are some great quality of life improvements. The story seems more involved. A lot more depth, I think, to the characters. It's just been so much fun to play. I've had the best time. It's one game I do recommend to people if you like this style of game. 
I never hesitate to recommend this one. My husband has loved it. He's played it through twice already. I'm obviously going to need to play through another year so I can participate in this event. It's a lot of game for the money. I'd agree it's a good game if you enjoyed Porsche. Yeah, it does more and better. It, yeah, and like the crafting is a lot easier as far as the assembly station and stuff. I can back up what Moxie says. The game's amazing. I really have had so much fun with this. All right, here they go. Who did I bet on? <laughs> Alo, you should not be in there. You need to get out. Am I in your way? Grace is not the fighter I expected her to be, considering, you know, what she used to do for her profession. Yeah, if you play Coral Island, any of those kind of games, you'll probably like this. And if you like something that has a little bit more of a story to it, I think that's what makes it a lot of fun. He wants to just hang out with his mom. <laughs> She's in there fighting. <laughs> Were you wishing her luck? Come on out, Ala. Mia's like throwing like confetti bombs or something. <laughs> So, I don't remember who we picked for that one. Okay, we did pick them. There you go. Thank you. Oh, the music seems so loud right now. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't Sandra seen Sandra Rock this lively for a while. Oh. I'm kind of excited, too. I really think Pablo can pull this off. I think so, too. I never know if they're going to speak the, that dialogue or if I have to read it. It's a mix. Uh. So Morton Martle's tree came back to life. That's a nice little cherry on top of all of this, huh? We should have little get-togethers up there like old times. Those way, way old times. That sounds fun. Thank you. He took off. I was going to ask him a uh, talk to him. <laughs> I adore Rocky, too. He's really <laughs> sweet. It's so nice to come out of the ruins and see all this. Seeing so much green, it's like, how could I ever get mad at anything again? <laughs> Man, I love them theme park rides. First, I was like, what is this? Just a minecart? Then, bam, we're off. I was on cloud nine. Drinking soda and having some cotton candy. Then I threw up, but it was worth it. I'll do it again, <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> Last loads in, including towels. Nice, Batsy. Yeah, I got one load in the dryer that's ready to go, and then a load in the wash. Whoops. Ready to go in the dryer after the stream. Thank you. I would like to learn more about Chi. I do not think anything of this fashion show when I first heard about it, but Pablo assured me of the inexorable link between fashion and scientific development, that only since the old world scientists felt competent were they able to... <clears throat> it was a lot more compelling, obviously. I have to do our towels. I need to do sheets, too. I usually do them on the weekend, though, so Tom can help. Uh, what what time's the next match? Like 1800? So we've got like an hour. I haven't talked to Elsie in a while. I saw Pablo's 
designs already, and dang, they're real pretty. I can't wait to see the fashion show and everybody mm. modeling. <laughs> oh, I wasn't reading that, sorry. That roller coaster is a league a minute. I must have ridden it 50 times by now. It's like breaking in a yak mill with rockets attached to the sides. Cute. He threw up? Yeah, Rocky, that would be me on a roller coaster. Oh no, Rebecca! <laughs> Have fun, you all. I have to go and do taxes. Oh, Tony, I haven't done mine either. But yeah, you get to reward yourself with some pie afterwards. I keep putting off doing ours. And the thing is, it never usually takes me more than like a half hour to do them. So it's really silly I haven't done them yet. I was going to run home and get the runway started, but we'll save that for the next stream. I really want to try and stream tomorrow, but I have a feeling after getting up so early and participating in Rhyme Menorah and Spec stream, I am probably going to be tired and wanting a nap or something after that. Um, so I don't know when we will stream this next. I don't know if I'll sneak in a weekend stream or if it'll just be Monday. I was hoping to do a Dinkum stream Monday, but it might be Sandrock because we have Stardew Valley uh, on Tuesday. That also, Tuesday stream might be a little bit later than normal, depending on when the update is released. Because I want to get started on the new farm layout that's going to be included. And I do have links in our Discord. Here's a link for it. Um, under the announcements. Oops for um, Rhyme and and Spec streams that I'll be on tomorrow. You can find them there in the announcements. I know, I'm so excited, Blue Sky. I know Chocolate Latte is probably so disappointed in me because I keep playing games she's not interested in right now. But I cannot wait for Stardew Valley. There are mods, yes. There are qual best quality of life mod, Batsy, is called Automate. You put a chest down next to like any of your machines, like the furnace, and it will automatically pull the resources out of your chest into the furnace, make whatever bars, whatever you know recipes you have unlocked, and then put those finished products back into the chest. It is the best mod out there. I'm probably going to be playing unmodded for a while, depending on when they get mods updated for Stardew Valley. Plus, I think it's kind of fun to do an unmodded playthrough, but that is one I will use. Um, there's one, I forget what it's called. I think it's Look Up Anything. So, like, you just hit F1 on your keyboard, and if you're hovering over an NPC or whatever, you can see what their favorite gifts are, when their birthdays are, you can see when crops are going to be ripe. All kinds of stuff like that. There's a mod that lets you see where all the NPCs are on the map. Yeah, it's PC mods, and you can... Yes, I have heard you can put them on the Steam Deck. I just haven't looked into how. But yeah, Stardew Valley has uh, probably thousands, but I know at least hundreds of mods. There's a poly mod. You can marry, like, everybody. You can have multiple spouses. <laughs> that would be fun to do sometime. Who did I pick? I think I picked Owen and Katori for this. Duchess is still whining, by the way. She's been whining for 20 minutes. I'm feeling like a horrible mommy. I'm telling Tom, we need a dog door. I can't, I can't do this every day. You have a joke for that, but not a lot of people appreciate it. Uh-oh. I might. All right, the event is over. Woohoo. <laughs> Uh, once again, I didn't participate due to other stuff. I, yeah, that's who we picked, I think. All right, so maybe next year <laughs> we'll be able to do it. I don't think I have anything else. I'm going to just... Yeah, I think we're going to end up wrapping this up here. Let me just go get the um, runway started if I can. Oh, <laughs> Batsy. I get it. <laughs> Shelly's bruiser of a husband wins. Yes! <laughs> oh, 
All right. So we have everything. We have everything for the catwalk. So let me get that going so that'll be ready for the start of the next stream. Whatever that's going to be. All right. And I'm not even going to sleep yet. We're just we'll, we'll go into our cute house. But yeah, I'm going to end it up just a few minutes early. I think we're going to have some some fun some fun stuff. We hopefully will have the runway take place on the next stream. I would love to do it tomorrow. I just can't commit to it. Um, we're waiting on the letter for the mini Botanica. Our husband just went to bed. We're expecting a baby in how many days? Uh, I think I said the 26th. I think so. So that's exciting. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm not even going to raid off because of my doggos. I have got to just end and dash out of here. So you guys, hopefully those of you awake at 3 a.m. Pacific tomorrow, I will see you on Spec and Rhyme Nora's stream doing some very fun things. Um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Hopefully you get to enjoy some pie, unlike me, and we'll just see you soon. Thank you again so much, you guys. Take care.